Hey Melissa, this is Crystal, um, Purple Penguin W again. This is my Emnet look, and I chose this because he's big and bulky. And so I chose to do a dark, almost, I thought of this because I thought big, bulky, like rocks. Um, rocks are heavy, strong. So I did the black smoky, really dramatic, and a red lip just to make it pop. And then, I didn't mention this, but... I would contour my face a lot because he has strong, strong cheekbones. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll be waiting to the next one, okay? Bye. Okay, first thing you're going to do is prime your eye with a white jumbo pencil or white eyeliner. So, and then I'm going to take a flat brush and take this pigment. It's silver. I love it. It's really pretty. I just started using it. It has a rainbow reflex in it. It's amazing. Anyways, I have to do this quick because internet sucks here and takes forever to upload. And I don't want to lower the quality on this like I had to in the other videos. Now you're going to want to pack this in so that you don't get a ton of fallout. And you're not going to want to blow this off because it's one, it, pigments tend you blow all of it off when you put it on a brush. And just put it all over the lid. You can pat it on. And you can do this wet also. I just didn't feel like it. And if you pat it on, you get less fallout also. And then you're going to take a similar brush, or you can use the same one and just wipe it off because that's usually what I do but uh, this one was already black and take a shimmery black like the one from the 120 palette next to the two blacks and bring it in right here and then you're going to want to create your line unless you want to use tape but I wouldn't because we're going to flick it out up top too and then just Bring that into the crease and whatnot. <laughs> Pick up more as you need. And then when you get to the flick, just bring it out a little bit and then match it up. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to blend. So I just fixed that up a little bit and blended it on the lid. Now I'm just going to take a miniature blending brush and just unharsh those edges. I think I'm not so harsh and even amount. And then you can soften this edge too. You can get fallout later. Or, yeah, wipe off fallout later. And just do this till you get it the way you want it. I think that's good. Okay. And then take your highlight brush that you always take. And take a skin tone color. Because you got so much going on in the eyes. And ruin that right there. The one's a little bit pink on me. A little bit too much. And you can blend this into that softened line. And out here. to help with that line. So just do your eyebrows. Just follow the shape. I'm not going to do much with this. Just to help it darken them. And if you got any powder or base on them. 
especially if you're doing your foundation. You're going to want to do your eyebrows if you do it with your fingertips so that you can get rid of any foundation on your eyebrows. So I'm just going to apply some false eyelashes and I'll be back. I'm going to apply these sparkly ones. I don't know if this is going to focus because it's a weird camera. They're sparkly. I'm just going to apply these. So I'll be back. Okay, so I didn't put, apply the sparkly ones. I just applied straight ones. And then I put mascara on. And then now I'm just going to tell you what to do for your lips. I'm just going to apply a lip stain. It's the NYC one, the cheap ones. I don't really like these because they're sticky. It's just red. And go really slowly. You probably can't see what I'm doing. Go slowly. Just let that dry and then apply the clear lip gloss over it. Okay, bye.